So it's going to go for the first move, uh, based on the eight brocades, but we're adding in yogic breath, more ujjayi breath, which you get in ashtanga, yoga, etc. Um, again, they sort of tend to gather in at the belly button a bit, but we're going to go with more the general ujjayi breath, which is more like Taoist breath, <clears throat> where you breathe in to the belly like a balloon from the bottom up and it goes up the chakras. That's, that's in short anyway. We've got a lot deeper to that, but I'm not. Um, it's meditative breath, and you're gonna mix this in the sequence of the eight brocades, based on the eight brocades. Don't get too caught up in that, it's eight motions, and we're just changing the breath. I'm gonna go through Ujjayi breath to start off with. So again, it's breathing through the nose and out through the nose, not out through the mouth, because it's a smaller filter through the nose and that'll help you lengthen the breath even longer when you're doing this. And you grip at the esophagus. You make a sort of raspy sound from the back of the throat. So that helps you lengthen the breath even longer. And this will help the mind focus on the breath. Give the mind something to focus on. It's like seashore breathing, near enough like the sounds of the ocean, that sort of stuff will help the rhythm of the body, the cells, the balance of the body, the well-being of the body, all tune into that frequency, that frequency of well-being. So we're just going to demonstrate that. So basically going to stick with the first one. On a lot of the other videos, I went into the, the basic Qigong breathing. There's lots of different types, but again, breathing into the belly like a balloon and exhaling, letting go. Again, I'm forcing just to show you that, but you wouldn't have to do that. You just breathe in to this belly button like a balloon. You even fill up from the bottom. But before you start, what we're gonna do is get you to engage Mulamanda from the perineum. Pull up from the perineum. And we're gonna start here. We're gonna go for it bit by bit. So you're gonna breathe in and out through the nose, but you're gonna just grip with the esophagus make this graspy sound from the back of the throat. So it's like a, you're gonna do it with your mouth open to start off, it's like a, it's like sort of near enough Darth Vader breath in a way, but you're gonna do that with your mouth shut. So you're literally, it's like a raspy, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath from the back of the throat. So you're breathing through the nose. I'm gonna show you with a sound and it's like a, but with the mouth shut, okay? So it's, uh, gonna show with the mouth open. It's like a, but I'm gonna shut the mouth. It's sort of like a sighing breath. You know, when you're really gonna focus on something, you go, and you really focus, it's like that sort of breath, okay? So you grip at the esophagus, making that sound. If you can't get that, don't worry, just, do it the best you can, and breathe in and out through the nose. So you're gonna do that to start off with. It's like a, you're gonna fill up from the bottom to the top, okay? All the way up into the chest. So it's full breathing. So you're breathing in from the bottom of the belly, all the way up to the top, into the upper chest, and back down as you exhale, okay? Again, as you do that, we're gonna go again on that. So when you're ready, we're gonna breathe in. And exhale. And you'll see how you can lengthen the breath. Again, that's not necessarily the aim, but you will naturally lengthen the breath both ways. Okay. I always like to go down the path of lengthening the out breath. Uh, that suits me because that really engages the parasympathetic nervous system and helps the subconscious mind relax. But again, keep the breathing even because it'll all be long or you can lengthen that breath a little bit longer. Don't overcomplicate it. Simply breathe into the belly like a balloon. You can fill up from the bottom to the top Nice full breathing, you see that go up right up to the top and then you empty from the top all the way down on the exhale. And as you're doing that, as we go now, we're breathing for the nose. And we 
exhale, that ujjayi breath, that silky whistling ujjayi breath. So again, the first move of the A form sequence, based on the Qigong sequence of the eight brocades, is two hands push the heavens. So it's a real simple one. Again, stand even with the feet, nothing too complicated. All you do is just breathe in here. You're gonna bring the hands up and just push. Clasp the hands here, just where the forehead is, and exhale, push away the wall, Samson style. So that stretch your little pinkies, little fingers, and you're gonna go again. So you're gonna link that to motion. So again, you're gonna breathe in, come up, clasp the hands here, somewhere near the head, the forehead. Hands descending down and descending up. Soften the knees slightly. Again, you can stand up tall or slightly down, optional when you're ready, exhale. And then go again. I'm making my out breath slightly longer, optional, okay? Otherwise, just keep it even and just go with the breath where it takes you. So again, breathing in. Again, it's a breathing coming up. As you descend down this motion, we have the shoulder blades melt into the body. So there's a trickle of water just running down the back and dispersing. Now the shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. Okay, that lovely soft V between the shoulder blades. Nice simple one, helps with shoulder tightness. And again, stops overactiveness these upper traps they do tend to take over in the way we live so again it helps to melt in towards the body you feel the stretch your little pinkies little fingers again in traditional qigong this helps the triple heaters the natural thermostat in the body but again just uh don't really have to know all that just go with the motion and the breath and see what you get out of it what we're doing is just mixing around the breaths adding in different types of breathing. That stimulate the thyroid glands, which helps with weight control, etc., cetera, um, and helps us stimulate the nervous system in a way, or a nice sort of active way, as it were. You feel the vibration as you're doing it, and gives the mind something to focus on within the motion. So it gives the mind something to focus on, which starts off that vibration, every single cell, organ, bone in the body, etc. Lovely. So that was the first move. I'm going to go for the second move, which is two hands separate heaven and earth. Lovely. Bang.